Sean, set the stage. We've got the third Republican presidential debate. What are you expecting? What are you looking for? Whatever cliche you'd like. (laughs) <laughs> well, you know what? There's going to be four candidates that look like can make that debate stage. So I think we're going to see more talking, more interaction. It'll be less, I think, of the 30-second sound bites and at least more explanation, more attempts for them to define each other. But I think you're going to see a real uh, DeSantis, Haley, you know, attempt to go at each other and break out. I'm no math genius, but four candidates, two hours. That's a lot of time for these four folks to talk. And all four of them are I wouldn't say hanging by a thread, but all four of them need a great performance to satisfy the donors, the activists, in the the, the, polling, the polling in the early states. So I'd expect four pretty aggressive candidates on that stage. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Ramaswamy, we saw the first debate, he came out really strong out of the gate going after each other. And the second one, it was sort of like the apology tour. This one, it'll be interesting which Vivek Ramaswamy shows up. But as I said, I, I actually think Haley's been surging. DeSantis got that endorsement from Kim Reynolds. So how do they handle each other? Because I think that's where the donors are looking to put their money on one of those two horses going into Iowa if they're not with Donald Trump right now. We have four candidates and three moderators. How do they not become the story the way that in some ways they have. Yeah, look, this is the first non-Fox debate. Yep. Uh, the, R- the RNC, as you know, struggled to find another partner. NBC had to jump through some hoops to get to do it. Uh, and it's going to be interesting. They, they know full well that they'll be under scrutiny. Uh, Hugh Hewitt's questions are going to take care of themselves, I suspect, because he gets the joke about what Republican voters are interested in. But the two yep. NBC journalists, I think, are going to be under some scrutiny. Uh, how much do they focus on things like abortion? and how much they focus on things that Republican voters are generally more interested in hearing from. Yeah, and the question is, will there be any backlash? But the bottom line is, we're gonna do debate prep two mornings, the morning of the debate on Wednesday, and then the morning after, both at 9 a.m. Eastern time, the way we have, we'll be joined by Scott Walker and veteran operative Gail Gitcho. Uh, That will give us some insights into what we can share with folks. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. As you know, I can be reached on my locals community at seanspicershow.com VIP, but we'll live stream this as well on my YouTube channel. We'll be holding no bars uh, (laughs) and uh, having the kind of free flowing discussion we've had uh, that we think is different than what you get, for instance, on cable news. If you want to join my community, you can go to walkingduck slash mark and learn more about my wide world of news concierge coverage. And I think we're going to probably take some questions again, which was fun last time. So again, sign up early, uh, join us either on the live stream or on that Zoom portion to, to get your question answered. We look forward to seeing you the morning of the debate and then the morning after.